My name is Richard Hartnell. I've created an automaton for RNIB which illustrates the capacity crisis in treating people who've been newly diagnosed with sight loss. An automaton is a mechanical installation um, which is rather like an illustration that moves. It's a kinetic illustration. Eye Society is a freestanding exhibit uh, with four scenes on the ground level. The scale is very small, but as we go up the model, the scale increases, so we're kind of zooming in to see some of the details. There are two coin slots at the bottom of the installation. The first one sets the main scene into action, uh, starting with cars moving around the motorway that joins the two towns. On the left-hand side, we have Royal Brilchester, which is a kind of posh town. And on the other, on the right side, we have a town called Dumpington, which is rather socially deprived. So we have two towns, and they feature two optician shops. And you can see a turntable of people going continuously into these shops, which really illustrates the number of customers that are coming from society and going into these shops to, to, to have their eyes tested. And if you look at the top of the shops, the, you see a tube of eyeballs coming out and they rise up into the upper part of the scene. We have inside this scene a lot of detailed models. There are a few brands that some people might recognise, although I have to say I've perverted them slightly. We have uh, 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 Hoots Opticians, we have um, uh, Eyes Are Us, who you may know, um, Spex Cravers. You might also notice there's a lorry that illustrates a, a, a well-known supermarket brand and on the side of this lorry it says wait folks and it actually illustrates the waiting times that are a, a key feature of this automaton. If we move up to the second level we can see into the consultation room. We see a consultant sitting on one side of the desk with a patient on the other side. The patient's waiting anxiously for news of whether he can be treated or not. And this is really the, illustrates the moment of truth where the consultant tells you whether you can actually have an operation or not. And this is reiterated by a couple of lights that are mounted on the front of the exhibit. So you have a scene where, where the consultant says yes or no, and following that scene, uh, the eyeballs either go up to the operating theatre or they, unfortunately, drop down into this channel and go into the bin. There's a figure in the automaton who represents the sight loss advisor and she comes out and catches these eyeballs, representing really some kind of support following a yes or no decision. The waiting room's on the side of the second level of the automaton. There's a variety of people in the waiting room scene. Uh, there's even a skeleton who's um, perhaps been waiting a little bit too long. At the start, we see a young man, um, but by the time the scene ends, his head rotates, he becomes an old man who's actually lost his sight because a lot of people are actually losing their sight waiting to, to have treatment. The staff member's really a little bit disgusted about this whole situation. You see her shaking her head. On the top level, we see a nurse, a doctor and a surgeon depicted as headless chickens because they're just so busy, they're rushed off their feet. The top scene is a mass of whirring cogs and activity. The headless chicken are jumping between patients. They don't know what, which way to turn next. The whole situation is really to convey the kind of energy that's going into the work. If you'd like some more information about the automaton, please visit isociety.org.uk where you can find some more pictures and video. RNIB, supporting people with sight loss.